Okay, there's a Witcher collab collaboration notice. Oh, look at that, Gerald. Oh, oh, nice. We're gonna have. Wait, who is the free unit? Uh, Yennefer, Siri, and this is Trees, I believe. So, who is the free one? Don't tell me Gerard is the free one. Why is only four units? Oh, that's a developer's video. I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I'm not gonna show it here. Whoa, these look cool, kinda. <laughs> not Henry Cavill, Gerard. It's the Gerard from the Witcher game. Okay. Take a look at how these characters have been reproduced. Why Rakuni is here? Why La Why is Lapis here? Atamil is here. Okay. The Witcher games are based on the universe created by police author I Andre Andres Andres Sarkovsky. Sorry, I'm butchering the name. My bad. My apologies. Uh, based on Slavic mythology, players control Gerard of Rivia. Witcher such as the series who is on the route. Okay, the Witcher has three main series. Okay, okay. Who are the collab characters? Yes! Among the characters from The Witcher 3, while well, decided to make Gerard, Siri, Yennefer, and Triss the protagonist and central character as a... That's good! So who is the free one? Gerard, a legendary witcher who wields silver sword and steel sword. Siri and another daughter, daughter, yes. Yennefer, charming sorceress, yes. Triss has been brought into Summoner's War while retaining the original term. Good! So four of them. Excited for that. Just like the previous collab, there's no non awaken okay? They'll, they will be added as the Awakened from, okay? Gerard, the main character of the series, will be added as a net 5 characters for all attributes. So Gerard is all 5 star. Siri, Yennefer, and Triss will be added as either, okay? So there's a net 4 and net 5 for Siri, Yennefer, and Triss, just like the Assassin's Creed collab. But Gerard will only have net 5, of course, because Gerard is so strong and so handsome. Uh, I mean, so strong, of course. The Witcher boasts unique art style, distinctive characters. We like to Talk about the collab character unique skill. Unlike the original game, Yennefer and Triss will be playable characters in Summoner's War with new skills. New skills! So different from the skills in the game. So no free net 5. huh? So let's see. The water one, the water Gerald, Pirot, attacks the enemy to decrease attack power for 2 turns, 50% chance, nothing special. World attacks all enemies 3 times, AoE, Mata hit. I like it. Decrease defense. And the attack bar. Wait, wait, what? Decrease. Oh, decrease attack bar. Decrease defense with 30% chance and decrease attack bar by 20% chance. Oh, no, no. Decrease attack bar by 20% with 30% chance. Okay. AoE defense break and AoE pushback. I like that already. Uh, Rand attacks the enemy, single target, stun, and resets attack. But what does that mean by reset? Does that mean make it to zero then, right? Uh, the damage is proportionate to the enemy's max hit points. If the target is immune to stun, the seal cooldown of Rand decreases by two. Wow, this is good against uh, bosses. I don't know how many turns this is, the cooldown. Because this reduced by two turns if you attack bosses. Bosses are immune to stun, so he will be able, Gerard will be able to use Rand more often against bosses. Reset attack bar. Push back all the attack bar so the boss can't move. That is interesting. Uh, okay, let's look at Win Siri, which is a 5 star. So they, oh, they give out the skill of the 5 star. Slash. Attack the enemies two times to inflict damage in proportion to the attack speed. Nice. I hope the base speed is like 120. Each <laughs> hit increase the chances of landing a glancing hit for two turns with a 30% chance. Each hit increase the chance of landing glancing. Okay. Okay. Glancing. Uh-huh. Uh, charge attack. Attacks the enemy to inflict damage that ignores its defense up to 80 but up to 80. According to the difference between the targets, hey, so many conditions. So this guy, this this guy, this lady must have a high base speed. Please don't don't let. Please don't not ninety six bullshit thingy. The base speed must have. The base speed has to be like a hundred something. Okay. Hundred twenty would be nice. <laughs> ignore its defense. Okay, but only eighty percent ignore defense. Teleportation slash. AoE, multi-hit two times, 
with each hit decreasing attack speed for two turns. Okay, nothing too special. Afterwards, recover your attack bar in a proportion to the number of enemies with slow attack speed on your attack bar. But how? Okay, let's say in RTA there's four enemies. Will it increase how much? We don't know because in proportion to the number of enemies with slow attack speed, we don't know. Interesting, interesting. So could move a lot of times if on violent this. This could be interesting because his uh, default also reduce attack speed. His third skill also reduce attack speed. And then this ignore defense according to the difference between your attack speed and your target attack speed. Very nice. Very, I mean, very, the skill synergize well. Dark Yennefer, probably I'm going to get her. Attacks the enemy to silence for one turn. Only one turn silence. Nothing too special. Magic barrier. Remove one harmful effect from all allies and create a shield. Turn. Nothing too special for an LD5. Static shock. AoE stun. AoE stun. Decrease attack speed for one turn. Decrease the skill cooldown time of static shock by one turn if you don't get attacked during the enemy turns. Well, that's interesting because if you stun... They won't attack you. If you stun four units, that means by the time every one of them move, your skill cooldown will be reduced by four turn. And then you can use this all over again. I mean, we don't know what's the cooldown time of this. Well, that's interesting. If you don't get attacked during the enemy's turn. Wow, this is interesting, but... Uh... A CC unit. Interesting. Okay, fire trees, fire shot, attacks enemy to disturb each point, re I mean, heal, uh, heal block. Scotch, single target, stun, 80% chance, probably 100 with uh, level up with skill, and then decrease defense for two turns with 30% chance. Eh, it's not that interesting. Firewall, AoE. Oh, AoE reduce attack bar. A fire verat. I mean, that's the reduced attack bar part. Additionally, the attack leaves branding effects for two turns and increased chance of. Ha. Huh. This is single target. Stun defense break. This reduce attack bar and brand. Doesn't seem too OP, right? From this four, this is interesting because of this skill. We don't know the cooldown yet, the cooldown time. But it's a dark one, so hard to get. Siri seems pretty interesting, but we still have to see uh, the damage multiplier, how much damage she can do. Gerard, definitely interesting with the third skill. But it's not too overly OP, right? For the ones that weren't covered in this development, let's check them once the update goes live. Okay, to give you a heads up, you'll be able to get... Oh! Everyone get a Water Gerard! For free via an event. Okay, this is a free unit. That's interesting. That's not everything. There are various collab exclude. Okay, just as usual. Kar Mohan? Okay, the building. The stronghold of the school of the wolves. Okay, just like previously, there's like a balloon, hot air balloon, and then the the assassin crit has the castle thingy or something. True calm already be able to carry out missions and please. Oh, okay, like just like in uh, Assassin Creed and Cookie Run Kingdom collab. That's good. What is this? Richard Quest and Gwent. What is Gwent? Oh, trading card game thingy. Special content is called Gwen, mini card game from the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Oh, I've never played the game. In Gwen, you build deck with various cards to play against the in-game MPC. While preparing for this collab update, we thought adding Gwen in Summoner's War will make this collab update more comprehensive. Furthermore, we decided to design the cards with Summoner's War monster instead of using the... Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. This is the cards. So, you can see Lucian from Summoner's War as well. Grant and info from Witcher by cutting this card from playing Gwen. You better Okay, what do we do from playing this? 
uh, 73, 73 summoner sword card, 7 witches card. Okay, Duran deck. We'll fight against Duran. 20 cards will be provided after the life goes live. Duran deck, 10 Duran deck, 10 Duran deck card. There are 5 NPC you can play against for up to 9 weeks. You play against a new opponent or new deck every week. Okay. You can acquire new gang cards upon beating an NPC. This card can be used to enhance your deck. Okay. Uh, you need a deck with at least 20 cards to play the game. Mm -hmm. You'll be provided a Duran deck for free. You can unlock Reyna and Lycana decks as you progress in Grand. Okay. Select a faction and build your card deck. There are three... Okay, 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 okay. Card type. Okay, 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 okay. So... Well, oh, that's interesting. This is just like uh, those uh, card games like Magic the Gathering. Mm, what else? I, I, I can only think of Magic the Gathering. Attack power, they can be placed on... Okay, this is just like those card games then, huh? Yeah, okay, okay. I got I got this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Separate fake card, don't have attack power, but they come with a new skill. Okay, okay. And then you battle just like this. Yeah, yeah, you put your card. Yeah, okay, very interesting. So what do we get from playing this? <laughs> Only the skill can be used once a game. Uh, once, once in a game. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I just want to know about the 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 the. Wow, this is so long. Oh, if you clear all five stages provided each week, you'll get a clear reward which gives you seven new cards. Okay, and then you got five mystical scrolls. Five mystical scroll per two cards. What does this mean? <laughs> I mean, you got five mystical scroll. Okay. Reward only give once upon first clear. Okay, so you need to play only once. You can upgrade your deck with new cards acquired via clearing stages. New cards count towards your card. Oh, okay. So you collect more cards, you get the rewards. Ah, so every two cards, you get five mystical scrolls, I believe. Clear stage once. Clear stage once reward is one. So you have to get two cards to get five mystical scrolls, probably. Okay, Witcher Scroll. I mean, this Witcher Scroll. Oh, the Collapse Scroll is, is a Witcher Scroll. Okay, so you can get a Collapse Scroll from this. That's about it for Gwent. Okay, I think we're going to do Gwent cards. Check out how, how Summoner's War Monster have been redesigned into cards. Yeah, okay. Uh, Collapse Experience Content, Event Dungeon. Okay, this is good. I hope it's like, ah, it's this one. The one that's uh, similar to Assassin's Creed. I like this one. Collab characters can be used in the collab dungeon. Okay, good. Event dungeon consists of normal hard hell. Okay. Okay, you can obtain a clear reward for the difficulty you are on upon clearing each difficulty, especially reward with per week. Okay. Uh Monsters appears as enemy to switch consume of three waves. Ten monsters are provided each week. Okay, so you can choose the monster you want to help you out. Upgrade select notion. Okay, this is the same as um this is same as Assassin Creed. We'll look into this once the update goes live. Monster division the battle cannot be used. Yep. Okay. Uh, Griffin, Lashan, and Finn are your collab dungeon boss. Oh, these are the dungeon bosses. They look scary. Finn appears in hard difficulty. Oh, these are all their skills. Oh, this is so long. I don't want to read this. Can I not read this? Uh, you got. Tokens, Mana Stone, Mystical Scroll, Weekly Special Rewards. Oh, this is the Weekly Special Reward for Hell Clear. Dungeon Reset every week. If you kill the boss on Hell DB, you obtain a Special Reward. Okay, so... Wow, Splendid Blessing of Summon, Rune, Memorial, Reversal, Devilmon. But you don't get any... You don't get any scrolls. Witcher scrolls. Witcher tokens can be exchanged with various items. That's good. Event dungeon reset every week and it's available for 9 weeks. Okay. The dungeon will reset every Sunday. Okay. Please note the event dungeon will begin on Mondays and end on Sunday from week 2 except for generators which is the update application. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, other, uh, other collab exclusive content. The Witcher collab characters will appear in Trial of Ascension. That's usual. And then you can get Witcher scroll. Yep. So you can get 2 now. 1 from the event. From the Gwen thingy. And then now here. So that's 2. 
the collab related content will be likely to try our ascension on February 14th. So the next reset. Okay. Master X will appear as Arena Rifle. Okay, this is usual. Collab special emoji will be, okay, six year old emoji, that's good. Mission content will be added. Uh, mission content, one time mission, you can get one Witcher token for clearing. Okay, okay, okay. Cinematic video to celebrate the collaboration will be added. Okay, collab period and how to acquire collab characters. Okay, the collab period is two months. Wait, only two months? Usually it's three months. It's two months? Okay, it's two months. February, yeah, it's only two months. Uh, January 1st, uh, okay, how to obtain which a scroll, which is a collapse scroll. Uh, however, the collapse character cannot be summoned after collapse, they can only be summoned using the witcher scroll, okay. Uh, the, the, will they introduce original, right? Wow, 9-year transcendence scroll, something, something. There's no 10-year transcendence scroll yet. All scrolls that summon default for another, okay, okay, okay. Collapse characters cannot be summoned from legendary engraved scroll. And, uh, yep, that's right. Witcher scroll, this is just a collapse scroll. Okay, witcher scroll. Okay, so you can get this. At least now we can get two. It's a special scroll to say, okay, only default four, five among witcher character five. Okay, all attribute, okay. Water Gerard, which will be provided as a collab event, will not be summoned. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. We've listed the list, the schedule for Gwent and event dungeon that will happen throughout the forever video. Okay, this is the time for this thing. Collab special events are coming soon. We're excited to not only offer this epic collab, but also with amazing collab events, character buildings, emoji, and other special gifts. So hopefully more stuff. Okay, that's it. Wow, that's so long. But uh. Uh, so, are you guys excited for this? It doesn't seem too OP right now, the skills, I mean. But I'll summon for them, of course. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.